so fun we decided to take you guys along with us this video specifically to every single, single restaurant, restaurant we, ate at. we ate at in New York City this yes. go round yes we had a great time we are so good at finding food we really are I don't know I mean it's just the Yelp combo and of between, Google yeah, and, and where maps, you are and, and, and all everything. of them and honestly maps like Apple, Apple maps, maps came in clutch for yeah, us a that's couple times my favorite yeah so to make everything fair and give you a quick rundown, we decided to categorize three different categories mm -hmm. to be able to rank the restaurants. Because some of these are restaurants we've been to before and then yes. some of them were brand new. So we have food, we have vibes, and we have price. Those are the three main things you want to know when you're going to a restaurant. We're gonna what make else it you short want to and simple, and we're gonna get to the point and tell you yes or no. Food, price, vibes, that is all you need to, all know. You need to know. So we kind of give them a rundown, a ranking one through 10. Yep. We'll just let you know now. There wasn't really any bad. No. And we're picky. I mean, I feel like we're particular. Not picky, particular, particular we just about food. We to really like our meal. Yes, Because if we yes. don't, it's our day Our day is gone. ruined. <laughs> you guys know that we're foodies. We just really love a good meal. meal. Especially like a restaurant. It's just such a cool experience. So, we really hit the ground running. We, that is why we are now having to intro this once we are back home. Because we parked the car threw our suitcases in the room and ran straight to dinner. And this is something that has been on our list for a minute. We have wanted to try Ruby's Cafe the last couple of times that we've been in New York and not gotten around to it. So let's go to Ruby's Cafe. start off let's go food. food I loved the Brussels the Brussels they the were Brussels? perfect yes what was the other the fries the fries was what they were like known for or like every every TikTok I've seen every video I've ever seen of anybody going there people are like you have to get the fries you have to get the fries and I went out of my comfort zone for my main the like bowl type situation I know and, and it, it was so it was very fresh good yeah it was yeah. so and it's like I'm kind of picky when it comes to like new things yeah and I was shocked when you got was, that but I was like Honestly, it's, it checks out because like you liked everything in it, and yeah. it was it was almost kind of like a salad without being a salad. Salad. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was like a salad warm bowl. Yeah, it was good. The burger. I knew I needed to touch down and have like a good hearty burger. meal to start me off. Once I locked eyes with the burger on the menu, I didn't even really look at anything else. I knew I wanted the fries, so I was like, well, this. Perfect. Speaks for itself. Like perfect. this is perfect, and then we can share the Brussels. So we ended up having really truly the best, best first yeah. dinner we could have had. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna give it a nine as well. Perfect. And then vibes. Vibes. Perfect. But I will say it might have been different if we had to wait. We got the last oh gosh, seat. Yeah, they we... don't take reservations. We walked right in and took mm -hmm. the last seat. Yeah. So it might have been different if we did. Yeah, but, but they have like a hallway you can stand in. It was kind of raining that mm -hmm. night and so you you can stand in the hallway but the waitresses were great yeah, oh my gosh we were so well the taken care of it was so decor was amazing yes it was really really like i loved all the plants in there and there was a very easily accessible bathroom so i'm gonna give it a nine i'll give it an maybe i'll give it an eight i'll give it an eight i'll give it an eight okay, yeah I'll set up for that. okay. and then price price was good 
for like appetizers, I think they ranged from like the 10, 10 to 15 ish dollars. Yeah. So I feel like that's pretty normal for and they appetizers. Were a big yeah, serve. yeah. We didn't even finish ours. And then what was yours? Mine was 17. Okay. Yeah. I feel that's like, great. And it had like a whole egg a bowl. on it. It was so much protein. Like, yeah. I feel like if it would have been more of like a fast, not fast food, but like a grab and go. I feel like if it was more of a grab and go situation, I would say it's more like a $15 bowl. But like since it was like a restaurant, restaurant sit down, made, it was warm, it was yeah. right. You could just, it was so fresh. $17. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. Fair price for a plate. That. My burger was sixteen fifty. I feel like again for a restaurant, right. like it had a, a they had a like a house sauce, like a special mm -hmm. sauce on the burger that I really really liked, and it was perfectly cooked, no complaints, didn't hurt my stomach, which that like rarely happens. So loved it. I think for the food, I really genuinely like that's one of my favorite go to meals. Like yeah. if we were just to go to dinner on a random night, like or go to a new restaurant, like I would I love a burger and fry situation, and I love to try the Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. So that is like my ideal meal there. So I, I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight. Perfect. Okay, fair. Hi. Can I just do one spicy salami melt and a Nutella donut? Hold it up, Sam. That looks so good. It looks so good. So, I did dig into mine. It was getting cold. I had to. It is phenomenal. It looks Chicken incredible. It is incredible. I mean, it's everything in a sandwich, basically. Wow, this is, I mean, it's incredible. Can you pull a fry out for me? <gasps> Swallowest fry ever. Yum. Try the bite of this chicken. Great. Good chicken. Good choice. Right? Out of my comfort zone a little bit. Juicy. I have to pick a few things off, which is fine. Phenomenal. I look forward to this specific sandwich every single year. I find myself dreaming about it throughout the year. I think they actually have a restaurant in the city somewhere. It is so good. It's so good. 10 out of 10. Reba! Reba! I know her. I don't know her. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We've seen her. She knows us. We know her. Wait and try your bite. Ah! Oh my god. I need palate cleanser. I need a palate cleanser. What? I like it. I like that it's a little cold. I don't know if I like it. Mm. I do. I don't know. That's interesting. I really thought I was going to love it. You've loved it every year. It's going to be enough for me. I'm shocking. Shocking. Wow. I'm picking her sandwich apart to get no cheese. This is good. It's so good. Oh my god. What? They, they bake it on spot. Good. There's like seasoning on uh -huh. it? Okay. I'm picking it to pieces over here. <laughs> I mean, I'm so good. Food. It's so good.
from trying a new restaurant, but this one was so good. I would definitely yeah. repeat oh, I this would... one. Okay, we have to okay. say our favorite food, thing. Food was 10 out of 10, even for someone who like doesn't like trying new things. It was still like was... enough out of my comfort zone, but still in my comfort zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were able so, to get one thing you lo yeah. knew you loved. We got the Kung Pao chicken. Mm -hmm. We got white rice. Mm -hmm. We got soup dumpling. I think, the, I think the noodles were... Sweet and sour noodles. I think we actually saw the table beside us get them and, and then we just said we want those. So those were actually ended up being my favorite, the sweet and really? spicy noodles. Yes. <gasps> Mine were still the soup dumplings. You guys, those were the best soup dumplings I've ever had for real. No, that, then the soup dumplings come, then the chicken, okay. and then the white Sorry. rice. Oh, I gotta take a break. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. So that would be my list and I'm very happy with all of them. Yeah. So for food, I am going to give a, a nine out of ten. I was gonna do 8.5. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so 8. Point, so what is that? Okay, what is Yeah, 8.75. And then for vibe, vibe 10, 10. Yeah, nine and, and a half. Plus you're nine and a half. Ten and a half. Ten is a lot. There was we did sit by a table of boys that were talking about like lifting yeah, weights and, and, and stuff, and, stuff. and it was kind of they killed the vibe for just a tiny bit, but then they got together. We had a we had a good vibe. Yes, and then what's the last price? Price. It was what? Oh my. <laughs> she that's went to the, the bathroom when I paid. Yeah, that's the most affordable that we've. Yeah, and we had a lot, lot of food. Stuff. We ended up getting the noodles too. I think that the like white what? rice side was two dollars each or something like that. It was good. Oh yeah, prices. so then that's I'm giving a ten for price. Yeah, it was yeah, really good was prices. Great. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. You know that was perfect. That was exactly what we were wanting. We were wanting just kind of like warm. And we had a hard time. We had a very difficult time, but. This was a great landing on spot. Yeah. And how did we find it? Was it Yelp or was it Maps? It ended up being Maps. It maps. ended up being Maps. It was we just Maps. Bus. Yeah. And we just did dinner. I think I just literally searched the word dinner. I didn't even search a specific we thing. We always looked at reviews first and it had great reviews. Yeah. This is comfort, you know? again we forgot to do this one we just listen it was raining, it was raining. It was lot, okay. there was a lot but, going on but here we go we have the raving reviews this right here this, this is, is our, our favorite. new york meal this is our favorite new york restaurant we went there when we were the stranded there for the two weeks stranded we say stranded i mean i mean you know what i mean we ate there at least four times and i think that we got a delivery once yeah we did so it's just it, it quickly became our favorite comfort meal and it's just so good it's so good and it's right it's it's perfect. ramen mostly but there are some other dishes yeah, and stuff. yeah yeah but we i mean i've never once gone and not been very happy when i left okay so food food i'm gonna give it a 10 10 i mean I, it's is it gonna be 10s across the board let's just wrap it up as a 10 i feel like if the we're gonna say this is our favorite, favorite all of it's 10s yeah. the food is 10s 
the vibes, vibes are tame. We've been in the day and the night now, and they it's, are very attentive. T- it's they just perfect. We'll make it customized. Oh my gosh, they are so on top. I mean, like it's great. And it's great. And then the vibes price, are great in there. I would pay more. Yeah, I mean, I would okay, give them more money. I would give them more money. You can up them. And now we get the buns, too, and the yeah. buns are great. The buns are great. <laughs> the buns are so, but the buns were different. They were this, different yeah. this time, and I actually enjoyed them more this time. Yeah, I do The think so. meat was a little bit, like, shredded more and, like, had more juice. It was really It was great. Good. So we get the really buns, good. and we get I get spicy tan tan. I just gets, get the original, like, miso... I think I remember loving those last year. Okay, it is chilly out here, but we're gonna give you a review for our Brooklyn Diner, Diner experience. Okay, okay, so food. food. Food, 10 out of 10. I will say, I do wish we would have gone at lunchtime. More both the lunchtime. More lunchtime. I was seeing we went earlier this time. chicken noodle soup walking out. We only got a breakfast menu, but we went a lot earlier than we did last time, and they must have, like, it as we were leaving, us. like, yeah. they started putting out the lunch menu, so. I definitely would have rather gone for lunch, but the breakfast was good. Yes. It comes with like a very good plate. I got the plate, so I was able to try a lot. Yeah. The homemade Italian sausage was very good. The bacon wasn't my favorite, but yeah, she loved like it. She, she asked for an extra crispy. Extra crispy. Uh-huh. I don't necessarily love an extra crispy. I love it burnt. But I'm more of a sausage gal, and I really liked mine. The eggs were so good. The eggs were really good and really, fluffy and not weird. Yeah, and, I get icked out yeah. so easily by eggs, and I did not. And then the bagel was really good. They're Mexican. known for like their cheesecake and more like burger style things like yeah. that. So it's so close to Central Park too. So you're really just right across the way from Central Park and it's right right across the street from the Nordstrom here. And we love, we this love is a really Nordstrom. good Nordstrom. Yeah, it's a great location. Yeah. Okay, so food where I'm gonna say it's just it, it it's not the best thing you've ever had in your life. No, you know what I mean? But it's, it's not groundbreaking, like but it's it's good, good consistent, yeah. and just like diner. Like if you need just like a hamburger and fries, okay, let's or give if our you... rating on the count of three. Okay, out of ten. Okay. One, two, three, seven. Eight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so seven point five. Yeah, seven point five. Yeah, let's try it at seven point five. Okay, we love it. Consistent. We'll probably come back and yeah. yeah um, vibes. Vibes. Great. It's Great. very tight. Be it ready is to, tight. to you take all your stuff off and be sitting only at your table. Yeah. Um, it's a very tight squeeze. You guys play like I remember putting my bags and stuff under okay. me last year, and then I did again this year as well. So it is tight, um, but it's just very diner vibes. It's, and it's like cozy and everyone's You're well friendly. taken care of, yeah. yeah. And not just your waiter like helps you. They all kind of go through, and yeah. if you need anything at all, like they will come. I made eye contact accidentally with like the manager, and he came running from like He's the other like, side. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good. So, so you're the definitely vibes well. Are really Good. Yeah, yeah. Love the vibes. Vibes are 10 out of 10. The vibes 10 are just downer vibes. 10 out of 10. Okay, and then the last one was price. price. I do think it's a little bit pricey, but it's just because the location is just like so central to Prime, everything. Yeah. Like it's not something that's like tucked away in the East Village or anything. Mm-hmm. So I do think it's like, it's not like the most expensive thing, no, but, but it's it definitely like it was your breakfast being $28. Yeah, like it's kind of. You got so much stuff with that but that's but, a lot but it's it's i mean it is it's what it is vibes. if these vibes are this is the only in, time you gotta be able to sacrifice right so usually for it. breakfast we just like grab a coffee and go mm-hmm. so this is like the only time we like need to just sit down i think this is the first like, actual food. breakfast we've had yeah i think it is. yesterday our breakfast is literally marifuku <laughs> yeah. so okay we'll see you at the next restaurant
switch plates. We're taken back to each other's. Okay, we have just finished dinner for the night. It was at Lynn. You found it. You found yes, it. I found it. I don't remember what it was called. Now I will. It's <laughs> there. Lenona, right? Lenona. <laughs> it's Lenona. But the good thing about Little Italy is you really can you just go, go into any of them. That's what we've usually done, and they're all really going to be great pastas. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're all going to be good. This one, we both went with tomato sauce space tonight. We just because we, we got a night. Dairy, the and noodles and the dairy, we just would have, no. Yeah. So we went safe with marinara. Hers was a little bit more light. Mine yeah, was a little bit more refreshing. traditional. Yeah, yours was just, and yours almost had like a sweet taste to the meat sauce. It was very sauce. good. It was like grandma's homemade meatballs or something like that yeah bread could have been really better good. bread could have been better butter could have been but i'm not more. mad at it no and it came at the exact same time yeah. as the food so it they did have different. pepsi products so that deducts a point but overall i would say for for what do we do first fives no we do, we do food um, food first okay for food for food i'm gonna give her 7.5 I was gonna do seven. Okay, okay, seven. yeah. So very good. No complaints, but could have, have been, been better. better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, vibes. Very, very I'm gonna say straightforward just Italian. Eight. Love, eight, yeah, yeah. Taken care of, but like not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Prices. Prices. I'll say that I feel like for like Italian dishes, they were like pretty normal. Yeah. Normal, but also like I feel like everywhere on here is just like a tiny bit more expensive than you're like expecting. Yeah. Or not expecting. You expect a little bit more than normal. We also here. could have shared. Yeah, we could have shared. shared. We could have shared, but we are we we don't we forget sometimes. <laughs> We're like, oh, let's get it. But anyway, that is our next stop, and I guess where will we eat? Will we eat any more until we see you in Brooklyn tomorrow? No, I don't think I so. I guess we'll see you in Brooklyn. Bye. judges for this review and Charlotte. Charlotte's dead. <laughs> okay. okay, so for food, number one. Food is what we rate first. Yes, okay. I got, I'm gonna, yeah, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I got the salad recommended. It was phenomenal. I've been kind of wanting a salad the whole time. It definitely curved what I wanted. I got a salmon on top. Let's scoot closer. I would say I give it a nine. I give it a nine. Okay. Yeah. These are I, locals, so yeah, this is yeah. a true writing. I love the salad. This I've place gotten called? the salad. Walters. It's called Walters. 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 Um, it's American food in Fort Greene, and I love it. Um, what would I give the salad tonight? <laughs> like a seven. She did shrimp okay. on top. I did shrimp on top. I also been better. ate so many treats what today is the, that I was not What is the dessert? Enough. I mean, what's the dressing on the salad? 
like a vinaigrette. Yeah, it's like a, like a, like a, like a they raspberry also had, like, vinaigrette. Herbs. Like they had mint, they had dill, yeah. Yeah. they had cilantro. I did see the dill on the salad. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was really, it's really refreshing. good. It's yeah. refreshing. Okay. Yeah. But if you're. It has it been better? If you're, uh, yes. Okay, it has been better. better. And I really okay. liked it, so that's good to know. So, so. yeah, I'm going to switch things up. I also got the salad. <laughs> um, but chicken. I got it with chicken. <laughs> And I'll be in the middle. I think it was an eight. I think okay. it was good. Yeah. I think it's good. Okay, eight. so it's one dish, three different scores. I got the steak and fries. We all and had steak. Yeah. It was great. The steak was actually my favorite part of really? yeah. yeah. It was, it it was really a really good. well done. And this, the fries were tiny. Too. Yeah. The nine, 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 no. No nuts. I would have liked a little bit more juice or maybe like a dipping sauce or a steak sauce situation. But Some yeah. Dip. yeah, it was great. What? We should definitely talk about the dessert. Dessert. Situation. We're gonna, I'm gonna I think say we're going to be pretty divided on which one was our favorite. Oh, yeah, favorite. Let's say uh, favorite on three. Okay. So we got key lime pie, and we got the banana bread with chocolate chips. One, two, three. The banana key lime bread with chocolate chips. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys say key lime pie? I said key lime pie. I think we knew that was coming. I think we all knew that was coming. It's That's what we really love. Yeah. Yeah. We loved the dessert. Our teams. Definitely get dessert. We love the dessert. Also, there was also the banana. What? Really good. Good. Really good. But I still love that key lime. Yeah. Okay. So then we write the vibe. Okay. I would say five, nine, nine. nine. We, we're sitting outside too, so you don't yeah, have much yeah, to work with. Sure. But it was no. great. Um, we had I actually, corner. actually, I take it back. I'm gonna give it a seven for our table. Oh, you're right. Our table. <laughs> our table was slanted. She was like a little rackety. <laughs> she did not, having a hard could time not over keep there? anything on it level. Oh, you were yeah. having a hard time over there. No, there was you nothing could have been okay. left on it. I would actually give it a seven as well, only because I've been inside and I thought that's what we were gonna do when I imagined it in my mind. But I we like, will I do that. Like I'm, I'm giving it a ten. Yeah, Their yeah, service is so good. Yeah, I know what the inside time. looks like. Oh, okay. you're right. Sorry. Okay. I still think this. Yeah. Service goes with five. Doesn't it? Service goes with because somebody did price. Oh yeah. So service is completely correct. Oh okay. So now I know the blog better than you do. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was perfect. I think that it's exactly like we were able to hear each other. It wasn't too dark. We were able to vibe. We were able to chat. We were able to laugh. We weren't like concerned about people around us or like it was. I agree. We didn't have anyone bad around us where we couldn't talk or we were talking about them. Price point normal dinner with friends. I don't. I didn't. I did the I kid thing where I didn't look. Walters. Yeah, it's very like normal. Yeah. It's what you would expect. Yeah, yeah as a night out. So that is our review for Walters with our guest judges. Guest judges. Thank you so much for participating, you guys. Thank hey. you. Thank you always, guys. I just see the chicken Caesar wrap with no parmesan. We wrap whole wheat spinach or sun dressed tomato. Um, spinach is fine. Anything else? And then also the turkey, or the Thanksgiving, I'm sorry. The Thanksgiving? The Thanksgiving or what kind of bread? That one's hefty, it's yours. Oh, I got something exciting. Okay, I got a chicken Caesar wrap with a spinach wrap and no parmesan cheese. Oh yeah, I got it on spinach. I'm that's what okay. I want. I think that's what you wanted because that's yeah. what you got last time. Do the thing, do the thing, do the thing. You got That's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. It's the wheatly board and say what it is. Oh my. Okay, that is the chicken Caesar wrap. I got the Thanksgiving. I have kind of been wanting one of these the past couple sandwich shops we went to, and I've ended up not getting it because I'm like, it's too much, but I need to be full for today. Stuffing, stuffing, turkey, cranberry, you name it. I have to take a bite immediately. Okay, this one feels like the smaller half, so I think I'm gonna have to only eat half for now, which is great because that just means I get to enjoy it. Oh my god.
know that we wrapped it up and got the <laughs> and then sat we had and to hit you the know road. we could have honestly put the camera up when we were car. in traffic for an hour, hour try, you know trying yeah. to get out making the one wrong turn but we did not so here we are closing out with Linwich. what a what good, good we we've, we've heard about, about it but I, I feel like we are if we wanted sandwich we wanted to go to a bodega yeah and we we found Every time we've gone, we've found really good bodegas to, very close to wherever we were staying. And so that just became our go-to for wraps and mm -hmm. uh, sandwiches and things. But this one, actually, Charla recommended. Yes. And she said the chicken Caesar wrap. And I said, you know what? That sounds like something I would like. I'll take part and in that. And so we were just looking around and we were getting very hangry on our last day. Mm -hmm. We had a bunch of things to do in a short time before we needed mm -hmm. to hit the road. And so I just looked up what was near Fifth Ave. And I said, yeah, okay. Because we weren't going to really be able to like... Go. go and make make, make mm -hmm. eating a thing. So I looked at what was near and a little witch popped up and I said, it's literally right off Fifth Ave. Let's do that. I just hope it's not super busy. Yeah. So we go, it's not busy not at busy all. Not busy at all. I mean, we were able to find a table. I did get the chicken Caesar wrap minus Parmesan cheese. Boys up here. Mm -hmm. And it was, oh my goodness, boys. Goodness. Yeah, man. And it was perfection. Oh my like, gosh. no she, notes. We, we didn't croutons. speak. No, it was it was It is incredible. a chicken Caesar salad chopped wrapped. and wrapped. And wrapped. She gets the spinach. Yeah. Wrapped. And it kind of just makes it feel like more like yeah. more of the salad. So. <laughs> it's like add another green. Yeah. Yeah. I tell them. Tell okay. Me. I love a turkey sandwich. Like a good turkey sandwich any way, shape, or form with any cheese, with any sauce, with any sides, with any whatevers, with any bread. Love a turkey sandwich. Big turkey sandwich gal. Oh, when we were road tripping on the way up, Witch Witch had a Thanksgiving yeah, like sandwich. style sandwich. And Annika was like, that is gonna be too heavy. And we're like almost we're to the Washington. Like, come trip. on, you come can't on. do this right now. Like get a freaking turkey sandwich to cheese and let's go. So I did, it was great. No, what I don't whatever. Whatever. So when I looked up at that menu and I saw the Thanksgiving homemade gravy, I said, you know what? I don't need I don't even need to rate anything else from that photo right there. Sign me the heck up. So I got the Thanksgiving. It was so freaking good. It wasn't too like I was like, is this gonna be too much of a sandwich? Because it was layered with Thanksgiving dressing, cranberries, great like a little bit of gravy with turkey slices. And oh and that was it. And it was perfect. Oh it was really good. My gosh. And it was almost just like the bread was kind of like the roll of the Thanksgiving. Yeah. That is one of the best things I think that you can do to with your Thanksgiving leftovers is make those sandwiches or make a little hoagie. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, I, I was literally. I mean, my mouth was water. Sandwich. Yes, it was perfect. It was perfect. So if you if you're near Linwich and you haven't grabbed that sandwich before, if it's out of season. You haven't grabbed the chicken sandwich. Oh yeah, yeah. you've got to. It's got you've to. Got really, to. I mean, I feel like especially when traveling, sandwiches and salad places so like it's such a good go to. Good. So definitely on our list now. Yes, yes, that'll definitely be one of our New York go tos that we will. We will get happy when we see the language sign. Yep. And with that, thank you so much for joining us on this what we little ate. What, are, what are the food vlogs called? What we ate. What we ate. What we what we ate in New York City. Yeah. I feel like there's like a an overall genre title of it. I have no idea. We're gonna do some research. <laughs> We're gonna do some research. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.